my channel viewers who are getting to know Savinder for the first time, Savinder is one of the go-to person in the DevOps space. He is a TEDx speaker, like I wrote in the introduction. He is sought out speaker in this space. He has done international conferences and a lot of respect he has earned because of his in-depth knowledge and experience in this space. So whether it is DevOps, SRE, cloud, Savinder is the go-to person. He also has a YouTube channel and a lot of following on LinkedIn as well. So Savinder, thank you very much for being here and really, really happy to host you. Before we kick off and deep dive into the questions, I would request you to first tell us a little more about yourself, your background and how did you get into DevOps and the entire story. So I think the viewers will be very much interested in knowing that your experience, your background, whatever you think is, is helpful for the viewers here. Thank you, Anand, and thank you for inviting me over. These great introductions is why we do this thing on a Sunday morning. So thank you for that. So I did my engineering from Pune. I passed out in the year 2000. And in these last 24, 25 years, I've had the opportunity to work at large enterprises, small startups, services companies. I've kind of been around the room. And I've also gotten an opportunity to obviously work in India, US, Europe, South wow. Africa. And at one point, I had a little consulting gig of my own as well. When I started out, I got into DevOps by chance mm -hmm. because back then in the early 2000s, the term DevOps was not even coined. Right. And I get this question quite, quite a lot. How can you be in DevOps for over 20 years when it is not even 20 years old? <laughs> it's a fair question. But guys, ever since somebody has been writing a piece of code, somebody has been compiling it, building it, releasing it. So we've been doing DevOps in some shape or form for the past 25 years. I've been doing it. It has been existing before me as well. So this is nothing new. Of course, the shape, form, structure has changed, hmm. but this has been around for a while. So I got into DevOps by chance because that is the role that the organizations that I first joined did put me in. Mm. I didn't even know what the heck it was. And I stayed back by choice because it gave me the opportunity to grow and explore different sides of my personality and the technology. Wow. Amazing. Uh, like you rightly said, DevOps has been there ever since we started to write code. And I, I remember... I was attending some uh, conference with you where you were presenting what is DevOps and there was like a elephant or something on the screen yes. where you were saying, oh, this is DevOps, the tail is DevOps or the <laughs> head is DevOps. So I remember that interesting presentation that you did. But just for newcomers or for people who don't even know what is DevOps, can you help us get started? What the hell is DevOps and why should one care about it in 2025? Perfect. That's a good question. And the most obvious answer to that is, you know, it's the combination of development and operations. They come together, work in collaboration. That's the most standard answer. But that answer doesn't tell you anything. What the heck does it mean? Right? So let me answer that with an example, a real example. So when I was interviewing for my remote job, in the one of the final rounds, I think it was the fifth or sixth round, the head of business came about and she was the lady who would have funded the whole DevOps engagement over the next couple of years, right? And she sat quiet for about first 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then she said, hey, I've been listening to you. you. You know, it makes complete sense. I have only one question for you. I have this DevOps. I have another transformation. I have three, four programs that I need to choose from. And I can only do two for the next three years. Okay. Why the heck should I choose DevOps? And give me the answer in three or four sentences. I don't need a long lengthy answer. So my reply to her was, I will give you the answer in four words. Better, faster, cheaper, more secure. And her next question was, what do you mean? I said, do you want to release your software better, faster, cheaper, and more secure than what it is today? If the answer to that question is yes, then you should invest in DevOps over the next couple of years. Okay. So that was the answer. Awesome. So from a professional standpoint, like a lot of people watching this are IT professionals. They have to do something with technology or domain. From that angle, Savinder, can you help us understand what, what are the various roles? Let's start from there. 
what are the various roles within the gamut of devops and later on what would be the probable skill sets that one needs to do those roles sure so the core role of a devops engineer is to take the code which has been built which has been created or written by developers do some magic on that code magic means if i talk in technical terms take the code compile it build it run some sorts of tests on that make sure it doesn't have any vulnerabilities do all of those things and create a deployable artifact okay Now that deployable artifact could be a jar could be a war could be a microservice could be a container mm. could be serverless whatever shape or form it is mm -hmm. once that artifact is ready to be deployed then deploy it into non production environments mm. and then subsequently into production environments okay so that is the fundamental role of a devops engineer to participate from coding take that written code and take it all the way into production mm. across the sdlc mm. and then ducktail into all the other things that happen there for example unit test work with developers to write unit test Right. Uh, functional non functional testing work with the qa guys the performance guys work with the release manager to make sure your product is ready for release so mm. these are the different touch points of the devops engineer mm. and if you are on the cloud work with the cloud team if it is a separate team right so but the core essence of a devops engineer is take the piece of code and get it into production and then further on make sure that the code that you have released when that has any issues that comes back and this cycle is repeated again okay that's okay. the fundamental job okay so quite interesting so let's say if somebody wants to get into these roles and i keep getting this question from a, a lot of people who are let's say java developers or maybe some people who are into testing they they wonder okay can i transition from my java developer role or from a testing role into devops is that even possible and if yes what do i need to do so any thoughts over there sure that's a good question and i i also get that question quite a lot and my answer to people i'm assuming this is between 5 7 years to 15 years anywhere between that range is the person who's asking that question mm, which mm. means you have spent significant time in the industry mm. whether it's 5 years 10 years 12 years whatever it is right mm. now from that there are two ways to transition one is to transition at the rock bottom which is a devops engineer the problem there is this past experience of yours that mm. goes waste mm. right and the second bigger problem is if you have 10 years experience nobody is going to recruit you as a devops engineer oh okay right because you are paid more your responsibilities are more and you would not do the job that a 2 3 year experience guy would do so you're a misfit got right it. so having said that if you still want to transition you have to figure out whatever is your past experience how do i mold that into the devops way Okay. What is the right fit for that? For example, if you are a QA person and you're doing some sort of manual testing today, learn automation testing, and don't just stick with the Selenium's and the QTPs of the world. Those is 15 years back; it's gone, right? Upskill yourself to figure out how AI is coming in in test automation, right? What does that mean? How do you write testing programs are very mature where you don't even have to write scripts. they can auto identify what is there on the screen and they can self populate there are a lot of no code low code platforms learn those and then fit into the devops cycle so if you are a, a let's say a programmer hmm. right then you have a programming background then if you have programming background if you understand architectures then try and get into a devops architect role because you know how to architect applications you understand how to deploy and how to maintain applications but hit at a devops architect role not as a devops engineer's role okay so use your previous background to leverage and figure out what is the matching role in the entire devops area and try and hit at that role got it got it that's that's quite insightful i think that 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 answer is something which is coming from a lot of experience so i'm sure uh, the viewers who are watching us and let me quickly check uh, by now we have 140 people who have joined us so thank you everyone for being here we have the members only mode on in the chat so if you have a question 
uh, you will have to be a member first and then you can put the question in the chat but i'm also taking questions from my linkedin feed so if uh, somebody has sent me a message on linkedin i'm taking those questions as well so now that we have spoken about what is devops uh, how to kind of transition into devops savinder that has been really insightful my next question is which is a very very popular question what to expect in terms of salary right a lot of individuals who want to get into devops want to know what kind of money will we make so based on the roles uh, can you just give us a ballpark number around the money that we can make in devops roles sure i'm sure you've seen videos where they say you know 50 lakh 70 lakh salary right <laughs> so so instead of giving you numbers let me ask you back a question anand so you've managed large projects development projects right hmm. so let's say you you have a team of let's say 40 50 developers or overall you know team hmm. size of 40 50 hmm. how hmm. many devops engineers would you have had in that team okay so if the size is 40 50 i would probably have a handful of them maybe two three yeah maybe three yeah three and if the team is 20 then maybe one yes correct right yes. that's the kind of ballparkish ratio you know 2025 mm. is to 1 mm. right ball pa high level now if that is the ratio that tells you something right that tells you that it is a highly specialized skill mm. that mm. tells you that this one guy is able to support 20 25 people's work and take it to production got it right now you can extrapolate absolutely absolutely and the reason for that is because mm. of the multi skills that this person would should have Hmm. and the number of interface touch points that this person will have correct that is why it is a high skill demand that is why they are paid more okay okay interesting so what we are saying is that let's say in a team of 20 uh, as compared to the usual vanilla developers or testers or other people the devops folks will have better salary let me put it that definitely way. definitely better 